February is Black History Month, a celebration of the achievements by African Americans and important milestones. And today we profile a local business started by an African American that is earning its place in history. Well, we're very proud of it. Proud of the fact that Rogers Travel is the oldest African American owned travel agency in the country. Located in Wayne and owned by Norma Pratt, the business first opened in Philadelphia in 1949. Founder Harold Rogers learned the ins and outs of the travel industry while working as a porter for TWA. It was that airline that helped him get the business off the ground. Each airline had to say, yes, we, we want you, we accept you to write our tickets. That was sort of a you know, problem back in those days, but TWA helped him get started. Rogers eventually sold, and Norma's father, Fred Russell, became a partner in what was a thriving business. There's my father right there. And it's an Air France. Yes, Air France. And everybody's all dressed. It was during the days of segregation, and Rogers Travel knew where black travelers were welcome. We knew what hotels would accept us and what, did, uh, what black people would be interested in doing, what cab companies or whatever that country happened to be about so that our people would not be made to feel uncomfortable anywhere. But this is another where we used to do bus tours and see everybody standing out, all dressed up. Rogers Travel had a lock on the market. Our customers wouldn't even go to a, a, a white travel agency. That's one thing, segregation for businesses in the African-American community was pretty good. But their customer base started leaving in the years after racial segregation ended, when African-Americans could travel anywhere freely. The advent of the internet also grounded profits, but Norma Pratt, like her predecessors, was able to make the transitions necessary to survive the changing times. And times are still a-changing, Norma Pratt says. The good news is more and more travelers are actually coming back to traditional travel agencies because they want personal service and they want someone to call when something goes wrong. They want to talk to a person, right? <laughs> well, she's a great person. Good story. Thanks, Tracy. Oh.